what he has on is a seat belt harness. And this harness goes around the neck, straps underneath, and it has buckles that attach. Sandy Story knows firsthand why pets should be securely strapped in the car after an eye-opening accident with her dog. He was about three months old, and I let him right in the front of the seat, the passenger seat with me. The gentleman hit his brakes in front of me. Shad went flying onto the floorboard, thought he was fine, got up the following morning, and he had a massive welt or whatever, like a hematoma on the side of his face. Very scary. Now, she and her four-legged buddy are teaching other pet parents with the help of Bark Buckle Up, an organization that educates and promotes awareness for pet travel safety. You've got to protect them, and we're the only ones that can do it. About 150 dogs showed up at Marvin K. Brown, one of the stops on Bark Buckle Up's U.S. tour. So I'm here with my buddy Shad right now. He's all strapped in, and we are going to learn the do's and don'ts of pet safety while driving. Check in. Got my chips cashed in, keep tracking, like the doodah man together. Number one, never have a pet in the front seat just like a child. The airbag comes out at about 200 miles per hour, faster than you can blink. Second reason, I would say driver distraction, just like with children, cell phones, texting, police and fire come to an accident. They open the door, the dog runs out, gets hit by another car. Salter says with more businesses becoming pet friendly and the state of our economy, more owners are taking their pets with them when they travel. Camping, uh, fishing, going boating, uh, family vacations are up in vehicles and RVs. So no matter the size of your dog, properly buckle him or her up. You need to secure everything. You need to secure luggage, groceries, anything in the vehicle can become a projectile in an accident. And enjoy your safe travels together. For Petopia TV, I'm Michelle Brubaker.